Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We Already preached part of the message this morning, and also if we look at the uh, the divine inspiration of this uh, of today, the foundation test of that um, um, the divine inspiration also you know has spoken extensively uh, onto I mean about the message this morning. I feel like Almighty want to say to and also do my name. Amen. Amen. And the topic for this morning is be attentive to the master's instruction to the Lord. We should be attentive yeah. to our Heavenly Father instruction to the Lord. Uh, present the book yeah. of uh, uh, Joshua, chapter 1, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, you know, also because to understand the, the uh, the necessity of be uh, obedience to the Lord's instruction. Praise the Lord. Because the Lord told yes. Jesus that, that for him to succeed in this work, for him to be able to overcome the trials and transition of you know, the day, for him to go to, you know, to do the work of his father successfully, he need to, follow, uh, to obey his word. I read Joshua, Joshua 1 verse 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart from, I mean, from, shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to, to do according to all that is written therein. For then shalt thou make thy way prosperous, and then Thou shall have you know good sources. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, uh, obeying instruction is very, very you know good, or is one of the uh, precious sites for one to be able to live where is life. It is always good to you know to pay uh, attention or to uh, to to pay you know attentiveness to the instruction of your guide or your guardian you know by anyone and somebody that you you take to you know to your heart that this person oh is the uh, is very very you know intelligent or he's uh, he's uh, he's a good advisor when you listen to the counsel of the person you will always you know, find success at the end of the day i'm not talking of you know canon uh, uh, counseling to the Lord. I'm talking Hallelujah. about cancer, you know, that is endowed with the wisdom of the Lord, the Word of God. And oftentimes we fail because we miss so many, you know, instructions that we, we were given the opportunity for to have make a, a breakthrough or to have, you know, uh, become victorious in, you know, various aspects of life. We miss them because we defy you know instruction and that's why this morning the word of god is telling you and i that for us to be able you know to overcome you know in this world in these seven days we are running 
we need to obey instruction from our Holy Father. Praise the Lord. Please, let's turn about to the book of uh, John chapter 8. John chapter 8, chapter reading verse 47. Praise the Lord. Please read it. John 8, 47. Amen. Amen. I read in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Uh, 47. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 47. It says that if you, if me, and one of us this morning, if we say we are God's children, then we must hear his word. I read. said, he that's of God heareth God's word. Yea, therefore, hear them not, because ye are not of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Of God, or the child of father must hear the counsel of his father. Every good child of the parents always pay attention to the counsel of their parents, and it always have a long way to guide them in life. And that's what today, there are so many today, you know, us are done in our heavenly you know, race because we give ear not to the word of God. If we give ear to the word of God, our God is able to see us through and to lead us without any, you know, problem. Though there might be trials and temptation the way, but the word is there to always direct us and give us victory over, you know, the, uh, the trials and temptation. But today, we Christians, we prefer to give ear to, you know, to, to the voice of fellow men than to give ear to the voice of our Holy Father who has given us the grace to see this day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then, if we take account of, you know, uh, this past night, so many people slept, but they are not here again today. And so many people are right now in the hospital. Some of them are very rich. They have the money to have been able to, you know, to pay the, the bill. But the sickness persists because the warning when it was coming was not obeyed. And today, the precaution is either unto death, to hellfire, and by the grace of God, some of them are able to come out of it because God, you know, have mercy upon them. But for you and I, who are here, who have seen this day, to be able, you know, to overcome the transition of the day, we need to obey the instruction from my Holy Father. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's return to the, uh, we we'll to the book of Ezekiel chapter 20, which I'll be reading from 38 to 40. Ezekiel chapter 20. Please, if you are there, you can also read for and I'll be to first to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We read Ezekiel from 20, Ezekiel 28. What verse, sir? Ezekiel 20, ma'am. 38 okay. to 40. Okay. Ezekiel 20, 38 to 40. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. 38. Amen. And I will put out from among you the rebels and them that transgress against me. I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn, and they shall not enter into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. 39. As for you, O house of Israel, so saith the Lord God, go ye, tell ye everyone is idols, and hereafter also. If you will not hearken unto me, but pollute ye my holy name, no more with your gifts and with your idols. 40. For in mine holy mountain, in the mountain of the height of Israel, saith the Lord God, they shall not, they shall all the house of Israel, all of them in the land, save me. Now, there will I accept them, and there will I require the offering and the first fruits of your, obli of your oblations with all your holy things. Amen. 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 Brethren, the Lord is speaking here to you and I. That you look at it very well. He said, and I will pour it out. I will pour it out from among you, the rebels, and then that transgress against me. 
I will bring them you know, forth out of the country where they sojourn. Meaning, as men that disobey or who are disobedient to the word of God, they are already you know, on their way to hell. To the Lord. Hallelujah. God will not harbor anything or claim his kingdom. The Lord will not harbor somebody who is disobedient to his word. We all know if on, on this planet Earth, if we are disobedient to our father's you know, uh, 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 commandment or our father's instruction, we stand not, I mean, we stand, you know, as enemy against our father. There's no way a disobedient son or daughter can be, you know, a favorite of the father. They will only be at look ahead. Praise the Lord. So, Hallelujah. Lord is making your eye to understand this morning. That in as much as we continue to receive, I mean, to refuse his instruction, we should know that the kingdom is very, very far from us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is not a joker, he's not a man that will serve today and tomorrow, he will, you know, change it. His word is here and amen. And if we take a look at the, you know, the, 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 the part 40 of it. Say, so for in my holy name, in my holy mountain, in the mountain of the heart of Israel, said the Lord God, there shall all the house of Israel, of all them in the land, serve me. There will I accept them, and there will I require their offering and their first fruit of their oblation with all your holy things. Which means for us to be able to receive from God or to be able to inherit the kingdom of God last day, we must obey his instruction. Instruction matters a lot in one's life. If you go to the market now and buy a brand new car or a brand new television without going through the manual of the car or of the, the, the civil service board, there's no way you can be able to you know, operate that television successfully. Or drive that car without having problem. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If the things of the of the two world have manual, have you know instruction manual, what about our Heavenly Father who are created you and I? So God is instructing every one of us day after day through the world we hear from this mountain, so that on the last day, we we'll shall stand. I don't know will not be, you know, uh, the result. I remember vividly in those days, my principal used to tell us, said, uh, I am supposed it's not a language for a child to speak. Oh, I'm supposed to be in the next class. Why are you not there? Because you disobey or you refuse to study where others were studying. And that bring you back to your former class and you are not saying, I'm supposed to be there. See, they still like, suppose, suppose it's not a language for a man, you know, to use because it is not a pleasant language in the ear of the hearer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then, for, for everyone for us to be able, you know, to partake or to be part of that heavenly kingdom, we need God's instruction. If we also turn to the book of Exodus chapter, uh, chapter 15, we all know the verse very well. Exodus 15, verse 26. Please, let's turn over to the book of Exodus, chapter 15. I read verse 26. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I read in Jesus Christ, my name. Exodus, Amen. verse 26. Amen. Amen. And it says, I read in Jesus' name. He said, He said, If thou wilt diligently hacking to the voice of the Lord thy God, and we do that which is right in sight. We look, I read again, he said, and he said, if thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and we do that which is right in sight, and we give ear to his commandment, and keep all his status. I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon Egyptian, for I am the Lord 
that he let thee. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is the God of fulfillment. He will not say what he cannot do. Of course, we know that there's nothing as impossible before him. But his warning is always, you know, beforehand. If we can serve him, there's no sickness. If you obey him, if you obey his voice of instruction, there's no sickness that God cannot heal. There's no situation God cannot, you know, take care of, no matter what it is. Everything he created as subject to his authority. So for us to be able to become an overcomer, we need to obey the instruction from his, from his words. Every word of God that is written in the Bible is for one, is, is for every one of us, for us to be able to know that he can do all things by the word he has spoken. Praise the Lord. By word, the word, the earth come into existence. By spoken words, everything today we see on the planet Earth, we are, you know, made available. So the same word of God can also, you know, make us to be the sense of God, if only we hearken to his voice. And I pray that God might will help your eye that on the last day will not be will not be singing had I know. If you turn with me to the book of Isaiah chapter 51, verse 7, he said, Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the reproach of them, neither be ye afraid of their rebelling. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What is going on today? No matter how, how much the devil may roar, everything is everything about him is set to the authority in the word of god we are meant to understand the book of Philippians chapter 2 from, from if you read from verse 9 to 11 that god has so exalted him our lord jesus christ that by his name at the midst of his name every bow and every tongue confess that christ is lord no matter who is that person? No matter, you know, how much the devil, the devil may, may, may roar, but he is straight to the authority of the word of God. Praise the Lord. If only he can be obedient to his word. Without obeying the God, the instruction of God, if you disobey the instruction of God, everything about you will disobey you. Praise the Lord. And Hallelujah. you are the type that always want to hear from God, then be sure, be, rest, be, 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 I mean, be very, very sure that everything around you, they are straight to authority. And God Almighty is not a man that will lie, he can never, God forbid. The book of the same Isaiah 52, I mean, Isaiah 50, uh, 55, verse 2, make you have to understand that it said, shake thyself. From the dust, arise and sit down. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm reading uh, Isaiah 55, verse 2, not uh, 52. Please, I'm sorry about that. Isaiah 55, verse 2 say, Therefore, do you spend money for that which is not bread, and you labor for that which satisfy not, hacking diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good. And let your heart, I mean, let your, your soul delight itself in fatness. Obedience bring, you know, simple uh, answers to questions. Obedience bring simple, you know, healing to sicknesses. Obedience bring, you know, uh, 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 the attention of God to whatever you are passing through in life. Praise the Lord. If only yeah. obey the instruction from the word of God. Instruction matters a lot in everyday life of, you know, a Christian man or woman. Because as we go, there are threats and temptations every day. Every step we move, there's always, you know, a net of the enemy out us out there. But God is faithful and just 
to see us through if only we call him into you know our daily activities and obey his instructions because god is not a man that we that will say one thing and do another he will always let you know ahead of time what is going to be for you if you disobey his word praise the lord hallelujah he's a merciful god and he's also a consuming fire god the god that brings the rain is also the god that brings fire praise the lord hallelujah we can only you know uh be his good record if only we can obey the instruction from his mouth Isaiah 11, verse 7 8, make us to understand here. I read in spite name. 7. It said, For I earnestly you know, protested unto your father in the day I brought them, I brought them up out of the land of Judah. Even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice, as he still telling us today. Obey my voice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 8. Say, yet they obey not, nor incline their ear, but walk everyone in the imagination of their heart, I mean of their evil heart. Therefore, I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did. They did, you know, them not. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Some situations, you know, can persist. I'm not saying that, you know, uh, you know, in some cases, God wants to try your uh, your faith. But in situations where, you know, sicknesses, affliction, or so many things, so many calamities are befalling a man or woman, then let him or her sit down and evaluate his life or her life and see where, you know, God will always speak. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, he will always uh, 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 make his, uh, his word, you know, clear to you. The word of God is always clear. He, if you cry unto him, he will always speak to you. But if you live in disobedience to his word, a man of God once preached a message, said, if your father or your mother causes you, you can run to your pastor. He will join you in prayer. And, you know, that, you know, a cause will be averted. And the glory of God will shine upon you. Even if your pastor lay cause on you, you can run to your God and cry out to him. Father, look at what is going on. Please, what do you say about the situation? He will heal you. He will set you free. But if now you are under his snare, who would you run to? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you are not obedient to his word. When clubs come, who will you run to? That's where we need to obey the instruction for the word of God. So that when, you know, there was strike, we can always, you know, write to him, Daddy, I'm here. Look at what is going on. Please rescue me. And he's faithful and just to see us through. And I pray that as we continue to hear his word every day on this mountain, God will have mercy upon us and let his light shine upon us all just as mighty name but all we need is his word quoted by his word and he will be faithful and just you know to see us through because our god is not a wicked god he's ever merciful amen amen if we take a look at the book of isaiah chapter 34 Isaiah 34, I will read verse 1. Isaiah 34, verse 1. It said, Come near ye nation to hear, and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is hearing, the word, and all things that come forth out of it. 
let the world today the world is seen you know total uh, 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 this, the, the, the disarray because nobody want to hear the word of God. Nations, Turkish was once you know a Christian nation, but today the uh, the the Islamic religion has taken over the whole of Turkey. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. London yesterday that was that that, that was you know. Uh, 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 Foremost in in, in in Christianity today, they are gradually you know what what I uh, mean, up. They are giving up everything to to the Islamic religion. If you look around today in the world, nations yesterday who were very prominent in Christianity today, only half few of the citizens are now Christian. Even the government don't want to hear the voice of Christian anymore because of our own you know personal imagination. And that's why today we are having so many crises all over the world. Not let alone, you know, Africa. That one is a story for another day. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People today, we human beings, we prefer, you know, to uh, to fashion our ways than to obey the voice of God. Today, somebody is sick, you tell the person, pray to God. No. He want to go and pay money to see TV Joshua or to go and see uh, the Wonderland in Wari. Praise the Lord. And I don't think sickness will double, and if we're not taking, we lead unto death. And the end, we say, Ah, uh, I'm praying to God. God didn't hear me. Yes, you know I mean, you are the one who didn't want to hear yourself. If you listen to God, if you listen to the voice of God, cry unto Him. In your room, he will hear you and answer you and heal you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, God so kind. Uh, since I joined this ministry, I have seen so many things which you know utterly and other I cannot see. And to glory God, God is so faithful, I be so merciful, and He has done things that you know are beyond human imagination. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Also look at the book of Psalm, Psalm chapter, you know, talking to Psalm chapter 95. I will read verse 7. Psalm 95 verse 7. It says, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 95 verse 7. It said, For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if we if you and I hear his voice, he will do what he wants to do for us. If only we can hear his voice and obey him. But the problem with, with we today, human being, is we always want to hear the voice of the kind of man out there and not the voice of God. A pastor will tell you, go and bring all your life savings. You're wrong. Go and bring it. And the same man or woman will not come to the, will come to the church, will not want to pay offering, will not want to pay tithe, but he wants the blessings from God. Praise the Lord. But the kind of man tell you, and for you to, to get safe or for you to be, you know, a, a cure, go or bring all your life savings. Go and say your father's house, go and say your mother's house and bring money. They will quickly run there, do it so that they will receive healing. But is that the voice of God that speaks to you? No. Our God is not a God that, you know, uh, 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 need. I'm not saying that to support the word of God is not, it's not a bad thing, but God does not empty his children, put them on the street or put them in hunger because he wants to heal them. Everything God does for children, they are free. And I pray that we, you know, increase our wisdom, understanding of His word, and the last day that Satan will not use the will of God to judge us in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Uh, Beloved, the book of uh, uh, jo, I mean, uh, just, uh, James chapter 4, verse 17, says, Therefore, to him, that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him 
is a sin. If you know to obey the word of God is a good thing to do, and if you refuse to obey the word of God, sin has been committed. And I pray, as the word of God comes this morning, as he's touching you, so he's touching me, and I pray that whatever I am missing it, whatever I have to submit to the word of God, to the voice of God, that God will have mercy upon me. Amen. Us and do us all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 This is the word of God for you and for me this morning. Please, I want us to go on our knees and talk to God this morning. That in any area of our life that we have been disobedient to the instruction of the word of God, God has instructed us, so you, me, so many ways, and we are disobedient to his word that should really have mercy upon us. That on the last day, this world will be against me, will be against you, but rather to just everyone of us to give them at last in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I beg for your mercy, Baba, Father, no Baba, for my my name up there for mercy. Amen. I want us also to revert the prayer again. That God Almighty will grant all the grace from henceforth to hear his to, to hear his instruction and obey them, that at the end, devil will not be able to stand the way of anyone in this mountain and of family bass in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. And give me that grace, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I beg of you, Baba, for commanding. Father, please in your mercy. Come and give me that grace, O God, Baba. That grace to hear your word, your instruction, O God, and to obey the children of the we pray. Amen. Amen. Are you out there? You have contacted with us this morning. I've heard the word of God, but you are not glory to Jesus Christ. For you to be able to hear the word of God and obey his instruction, you need to be, I mean, to give your life to him. Because the servant whom you just you, you suffer to will become the become your master. For you to be able to be counted among those one he died for, you need to obey his instruction. But this morning, please can confess your sin unto him quietly, and he is faithful and just to forgive you and wash you with your blood. Now, on that last day, you will not be cast away in presence of Jesus Christ's mighty name. Uh, and, amen. And also, uh, if you want to be baptized in Water by immersion, please contact the Son of Most High God and the Minister of this mountain. For adventure, you are connected from places where our branches are not existing. Please call any of the local pastor nearest to you who are also preaching the word of God, undiluted, who believe in the true word of God and not uh, suffer the children of God. He will do that which is. God will instruct him to do that which is needful. At the end, you will not be a cast away. God will grant you the grace to do this with the end of Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Jesus Christ. Um, Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus Christ.
Hallelujah. God bless you. Some of the most high God. Praise the Lord. This is a mountain of solution and redemption prayer ministry worldwide. AKA the Shepherd and the Bishop of Our Souls Ministry worldwide.